My mom told me not to talk to strangers on the internet, but I'm glad I didn't listen. We are the Certified Nunas, your sisters in the love of Asian entertainment. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Jessie. I'm Natalia. And I'm Skye. And we tonight decided to do something a little chill and a little different than I think, I don't think we've ever done this before. Definitely in not our, this In time. the run. No. We, we usually do something at the end of the year similar to this, but we decided like, hey, let's all just check in. Let's see how we're doing with our drama fandom Are you situation. okay? Is everything going? <laughs> Are you okay? And so tonight we come here to expose no. ourselves. No, no, I'm not you. okay. <laughs> we're not okay. <laughs> Narrator, he was not okay. And then, you know what? And then we all now get to find out, you all get to find out how not okay all of us are. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, so... Basically, at the end of the year, we usually do, like, what was your favorite drama of the year? What was, like, your second favorite? What drama was your mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Listen, if you've been around for a while, you know how the end of the year things works on these sorts of podcasts, ours included. But it's like, we're a quarter way through the year. And we just, you know, we've got, we got a lot of going on. We have our, you know, our 12 for 12 challenge that we've been doing over on Discord that you should mm-hmm. come join us in because it's really fun. Uh, and you should also join our Discord, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, it's free. Um, and then, you know, just talk about new stuff that we've been up to. Now, I mean, we- I think we were talking about our, our respective not great at mathness. I think we're more like... The, it's like the thirdly or the like uh, but i don't know what we would call that well no because okay there's quarterly 12... would be three months in and we're like in month five. Oh, you're now. right you're right <laughs> i must have i think i came up with the idea when we were in I think april we, yeah, is what I, happened I, I think so. yeah maybe i just was okay. looking at it and i was like we're not oh none well, of us are mathematicians okay like, i mean like, like, earlier we figured out so, a major thing as well for this month that just prove that we yes. cannot count. You know what? Look let, at calendars. Let's, oh. you know what? let's just expose ourselves here. So here's we, the confessional. Here's our confession. The Nuna's confessional here. So we have like a Google Doc that we share that has like our schedule for the year where we put all the the release dates, which is every Monday, um, and then we write down like what episode is going out that day. And we had four great episodes planned for May. We were all ready to go. Now, if you're Thinking with the gears are moving. Uh, are if much- you're good with calendar stuff, you'll which note, some of us are not. Yeah, you'll note um, there are five weeks. There are five Mondays in May this year. Um, and so there was just like a sort of a cognitive dissonance happening as we all, and like we all just stared at this list and was like, what is wrong with this? Like something is incorrect. It was like anyway. also like, I, I'm tired, but like also um, our first episode for this month we actually like had pushed it like so it was like Mm. different too and so it was just like so confused and then i like started to like panic because it was like earlier today and i was like but what if we were supposed to do something else for the like podcast recording tonight and i don't have it planned and i was sitting there going do i have to like figure out how to watch something at work which i probably (laughs) could have done today anyways but like fun story not ideal fun story about one of us i.e me actually doing that once it was a couple years ago we were supposed to be i don't remember what we were supposed to be doing but i had gotten the weeks mixed up and we had been one of the weeks we were reviewing henry's movie his fantasy movie that came out so i thought it was that week so i had watched the movie and i started and i you know i'd always do the intro so i had started it (laughs) And I was like, tonight we're good. And then all three of them were just like, no, we're not. Like, we are supposed to do this other thing. And I hadn't done but like you any said, of it. I remember and very clearly just sitting there going like, oh, did I miss you? We're all staring. <laughs> yeah, like, and then, so, uh, anyway, it was, it was all me. I'm just a big old dum-dum who can't read a calendar. But I am fine. So. We just, look, oh, no, we just, we just I just recorded the next day. It was fine. It was Monday but, dates in there. I remember I like 
remember putting in all those dates yeah. in that doc. So I'm the one who who messed us up on May. <laughs> all none we of us it. noticed. We so it's it. been you know it's been we that figured kind of it year out, so guys. Far. It yeah. took all four of us working together. <laughs> The shared brain cell was running back and forth crazily. <laughs> it finally we like made it. worked out. We made it. So we've been. So that's how we've been doing this year. Yeah. So that's your, <laughs> that sums <laughs> up. If you're wondering how things are going. Um, you know what? I think should we just start with the numbers? Should we just get this out of the way? Just rip the band aid <laughs> off. Yeah. Do okay. we want to start from oldest or youngest? Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, then let's do youngest. Well, since or go okay, the like up. order that like we're in currently. Or, yeah, let's not, do whatever. I don't care. Yeah, you, know, you know what? Let's let's go reverse order that we're in because mine's very embarrassing. So I feel like going last <laughs> will really hammer better? home. Oh, okay. Just really have a good punchline to this. Okay. So I'm gonna admit. So. I don't know if the other ladies are going to do it this way, but I am going to say like dramas and movies because yes. I've watched a handful oh. of movies. So that's why I want to mention them. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and I will say I've watched more dramas than this. I'm just close to finishing like a handful. So like, it feels like way more than this, yes. but 22 dramas done. Respectable. Mm-hmm. Respectable. Um, 13 movies. Wow. Which for me, that's a lot that's- as far as like this, mm-hmm. this far in. So, because I watched a heck ton of movies for Kim Nam Gil, a lot of Kim Nam Gil movies. The so Kim Nam Gil may have stacked the deck on my movies. As well. <laughs> <laughs> so Amanda, like, what are, what are your numbers? Um, much smaller, much much smaller. That's I fun. feel like I've been watching less, and my numbers kind of reflect that. Mm-hmm. So oh. I have, uh, I mean, I'm currently watching like nine things. Um, yes, I still haven't finished Black Dog. Okay, we'll <laughs> one day. It. You'll get it one day. You'll finish it. It'll only take like three years. You'll get it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I've completed 10 dramas and watched five movies. That's still not and, bad. And like, I've been cheating. I've been watching English shows, guys. Oh. So like, there's been How English cheating? movies. Well, if, okay, if that counts as so. cheating, I've been cheating with Minecraft Let's Plays, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I've, and I've dropped about 15 dramas this year, so, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. I have not had the patience for things I don't have patience mm-hmm. for. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jesse. Jesse, what is your probably very respectable number? <laughs> I was doing really well, too. And this, like, past two weeks, I, like, kind of hit a wall and, and work happened. So it probably would have been more than this. I know it would have been more than this. Also, if I hadn't just decided that, like, Stray Kids was my favorite, like, we would also <laughs> be able to, like, yeah, watch more dramas. Watch them, and then you'll understand with us. Um, I have completed... 36 dramas so far nice. and Ooh. only four movies which is not good especially because i haven't been watching any horror movies Mama. i just haven't it's because i've been watching all those dramas you know what? it's okay because a uh, little preview stick around for next week that <laughs> yes. will be rectified on next week's episode yes <laughs> yes because we had okay. to because we had to figure out a yeah because we had we had, <laughs> we had to figure out an episode so we had we went with what we could do quickly um and then okay so my goal this year was to watch one movie a week i'm a little behind but i have also watched 13 movies uh-huh. i actually movie watched things. i actually watched a movie today which brought it up to 13 movies mm. Hmm. Okay, now <laughs> I need Now, w- what we know, I'm going to say okay. what you, you know, I-, I will say this for you. I know that some of your stuff is very short form. Yes. Not mm-hmm. less than you, but some of it's also very long form, so. That's hey, true. I feel like the I do... Chinese mm, stuff that's like, true. Balances. But one thing I do want to throw in here, have you counted... Do you, do you know what I'm going to ask? Have how, you counted don't even how many times <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Okay, I know she what that is. She has, ask, right? And I've, I've, listen, I already have an answer for that. That's my okay. addendum. Okay. Okay. okay I, know, I know, I know. And if you're, if you're a long-time listener, you also know what she was about to ask me. Um, how many times so she's I, watched I, Cutie Pie? That's what we're asking. <laughs> okay. So, I have watched... 72 
draws so far. <laughs> Dang, girl! Yes. Um, three of those were rewatches. Not counting, and I just want to say, these cute. 72 don't include Cutie Pie. I decided just to not count it. Because it seems like, you, on my custom list that I have, you can only put it once. So I decided mm. to just put it at the end of the year as a real <laughs> this is caps little it. accent. And you should put you should put a note on it. Yeah. Your total at the end of the year. But I think I've keep, probably keep a total. watched it at least once a month. You know what? I you just love what that. you want to love. That's fine. That's exactly. So <laughs> around five so far this year? Or maybe, are we maybe. feeling more? I, oh, that sounds about right. That sounds about correct. Well, I haven't watched it yet this month. I so. actually added up how many times I've watched The X-Files. It would be like a horrific yeah. number. So like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> do what you want to do. If you want to watch PewDiePie like 40 times a month, do it. <laughs> and if anyone's curious as to the three dramas that I rewatched... I rewatched because this is my first life. Mm-hmm. I nice. rewatched um, Oh My Ghostess. Okay. And then I rewatched. Now I know it's somewhere here. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling because I make a note when they're rewatches, and I already forgot what it was. <laughs> but it was some. Oh yeah, I rewatched <laughs> Secret Crush on You. I you know I was in a <laughs> little bit of a mood one week and was like. Okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, those are my. That's that's what's happening. Um, I I I feel like I have a rewatch too. I, I do. Didn't count it. I didn't count it in my total here because it was a. I'm gonna say a customized rewatch because I, cut. You know, I fast forwarded through some stuff. So, I do. I don't think I have them written down anywhere. I do. So I want to say hyena. I did mm-hmm, the. Mm-hmm cut out the awful actor nice. slash he's the nice. big baddie so that's nice. th- that's a handful that's a lot of scenes so like i'm just saying um hyena and i know that go go squid the cute version mm. yeah which really is mostly just the couple interactions plus some of the silly oh little kids God. so like that's I just, really i just it. realized mm-hmm. that i also rewatched go go squid and didn't put it on this list oh well did you did you really did you rewatch even all the no, like No, I did the same <laughs> that you did and you know it cuz we did it at the <laughs> same time so I don't need to count it. I rewatched a drama that I don't know if Natalia has watched. It's called Semantic Air. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. This is like a little aside. I don't know what it is about my face. That, th- that people who, like, but see me... And what, get- what face? It, it's it's online. No, but, like, this was this, this was a comment on a video I posted. Oh, okay. okay. Where, but And also in, like, K- K-drama chat nights, this happens to me, where right. I'll post... I'll be talking about a BL, and then someone will be like, oh, have you watched Semantic Error? And I'm just sitting there like, my child. <laughs> Are you... Joking me right now. I was now. there when the old <laughs> magic, magic was written. Was written. I don't like. What are, I'm like. I don't know what I have to do. Like, I sell a semantic error pin in my shop. What are, what are we doing here? What do you want? Uh, I watched it as me. it was airing. What yeah. do you want what, from what, me? Why? <laughs> I've read the manhwa. What more do I have to do? But yes, yeah, for anyone in the future, just refer to this. Has Natalia seen semantic error? Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. worry. I know about semantic error. We Don't all worry. have. We've we all have an episode on it. We technically yeah. have two episodes because we, we uploaded our live stream of it as well. Oh yeah. So listen, I've seen. Go check it out if you haven't. It's cute. It's great, mm-hmm. but oh God, I don't need it recommended so to me anymore. I know of it. Uh, oh, holy vey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think this leads directly into this uh, next little query about our quarterly check-in. Uh, has anyone had any uh, market changes in their watching habits? Yeah. I guess I can start if we want to mm-hmm. if we want to mm-hmm. stay the same way that we've sure. been going. Um, I don't think I really have. I. I, I got some, you know, I got obsessed with a couple of things and then I fell out of that. And then, I mean, I was, I was making pretty good headway a couple months back and now I'm kind of busy with some other stuff, but you know, I, I really, it seems pretty similar. I don't think I'm, I am way behind on the, t- we'll talk about that later, but I'm way behind on a couple other things, but it's because I'm doing homework <laughs> or I need to start my homework. I'll be doing that. Um, but yeah, 
when I say homework, I mean for this podcast. I'm not taking school or anything. <laughs> The, the school of Nuna's homework. Yeah. That's what. That's what I'm referring Her to. Her homework is watching dramas, which seems like <laughs> sick homework to me. You know, right? if if you want to pay me for doing this homework, go to our Patreon. Our Patreon, though. hey, certified Patreon.com/slash certified Nuna's. <laughs> but no, I I don't think there's really been any. I mean, as far as obviously, I mean, I won't get into this a lot, but. I can't do super sad, super, super depressing presently. I really, I could probably like handle it, handle it. I don't want to though, yeah. because of certain yeah. things. So like that kind of has informed how I'm handling some stuff right now. But like, whereas prior, prior to that, um, I, I was, I was kind of like, I was branching out a bit more into a lot mm -hmm. of darker stuff, mm -hmm. like periodically. So I kind of have to rein that in just a little bit right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably be able to push past that at some point. But that's probably the only thing that's really changed as far as super recently for me. Mm. How about I you, think, Amanda? As I said, obviously I'm watching less. It feels like I'm watching less, but it, it also feels like I'm I, I'm reading a lot more. So that, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's difficult to read and watch a drama where you have to read at the same time. That mm, doesn't work. So there's that, but also, I mean, I did pick up my first ever daily last year. So that's five episodes a week, you know, that like I was yeah. watching a daily and weekender and, a, you know, it, so I think sometimes that, and I watched like a, a weekender that had ended too. Like, so I was watching a lot of these dramas that were uh -huh. like episodes or more and that just kind of takes your time away <laughs> you don't, when it's not you know i feel like last year i watched a lot of like web series and stuff and so you yeah. like a ton of those out but you can't make a weekender go any faster than it goes so. <laughs> yeah, it's true it's, it'd be true it'd be true though so for my watching habits it's not different in like years past but it is different like comparatively to like last year mm. and year before ish i'm definitely watching a lot more um mostly because i'm in a better space because mm. if i don't I'm not in a good space i'm not gonna do things that like mm. are fun or like require any sort of brain whatsoever mm. um so i've definitely been watching more like i i gave myself a goal of 52 dramas this year so <laughs> I'm pretty good and solid on that. And I thought, I was like, oh, I'm pushing it on 52. No, I'm not pushing it at all. Um, I think also what, like, is, like, different, it's not necessarily, like, it's different because of things that had happened or has happened or that mm -hmm. doesn't, that sounds weird. j drama Changes in your life Well, not, not, like, of, even oh. that. Oh. Like, it's that J-dramas are more accessible now. Yeah. So I mm, watch more. So I pick up a lot more and, like, watch a couple of episodes of them here and there because they're actually available to me in a spot yeah. that's not a hard Sketchy. spot. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, a, or like you know, it's at a standstill because you're waiting for subs or something like that. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. that's changed, but it's just because it, that became, a like, a, a thing this year that has really never been a thing in the entire... True. watching of asian dramas because if any of you like if you're a long time listener of the podcast you know that for years like jesse's main thing at the end of the year like hoping for the next year was mm -hmm. more j -dramas. accessibility to j dramas like that we and finally did not it. just not just j drama rom-coms on vicky like you know actual mm -hmm. like more genre yeah. stuff and like all types of things and there really is starting to be a lot more of that for you so it makes a big difference yeah. for you mm -hmm. now i'd like to say that i've gotten better but we all heard my numbers we know that i have continued my <laughs> shenanigans for another year um i do have a confession and i think a couple of you are gonna be real disappointed in me i was very proud of myself that Last month, I very proudly told Sky and Jesse that I dropped a drama because it was bad. 
Did you pick, did it, back you pick up? it back up? I did. My curiosity got the better of me. I had to see that <laughs> again. And now, no. And, and like, oh it's God. still terrible. Like, it's Do you so- regret it? Do you regret picking it back? Yeah. Do you re- okay. Yes you and no. All, like, the other, okay. like, episodes that okay. you could have watched listen, in the meantime? Listen. Yes, because... Okay, on one hand, yes, because this drama is so bad that it's almost... <laughs> unfathomable how bad it is um no because this drama is so bad that it's incredible to watch because okay i'm just gonna put this drum on blast for like two minutes it's called love syndrome three you're thinking oh is it a sequel to another show no it's it's its own <laughs> thing the show assumes that you've read two novels that aren't <laughs> translated into English before watching this show. The show is a, is a spin-off show of Unforgotten Night, which was terrible but campy, but with none of the same actors. All of the actors are markedly worse, and the story is horrifically bad. The acting, questionable. The subtitles, terrible. I can't look away. Anyway... That, so I did my confession that I'm it's still up to my shit. MDL. I don't know how. It makes no fucking sense. I, I, I will say, based on the type of dramas that you watch, because you mm. watch a wa- large mm. variety of dramas, mm-hmm. you have a subgenre of this that you <laughs> like watching the train wreck stuff. Sometimes. I love watching bad <laughs> dramas. Like, but I th- I thought this mm-hmm. one was so bad that I could I could just let it go. You know what I mean? Like, I could just let this one go. Like, I'm just like, no, I'm I'm better than this. I'm not. I'm not better <laughs> than this. I, I just, every week it would just, like, I would open up the WeTV app and it would be there, like, in your recently watched. And I'm like, look away, Natalia. You don't need, but I needed to. I couldn't. The brain, it wouldn't let me. So, uh, so if you're having uh, any mark changes, no, absolutely none. I'm still a hot mess. So, nothing. so you haven't you haven't even made progress in that department <sighs> that you were hoping on making progress. In. Yeah, I was hoping this would be the year I would finally but drop something. But that, mm-hmm. you have dropped that you drop things if you figure out somebody's trash or something. That's like, true. You, you do drop yeah. things sometimes, but it's never because the drama itself is bad. Like, you know it's okay. The rest, there's usually extenuating circumstances. I I, I don't often because usually. I know what I like, so I'm mm. going to pick up things yeah. that I like in the first place. Mm-hmm. Often, mm. so also I a lot of things I don't call a drop if I'm just checking it out for one episode. Like I feel yeah. if I if if I'm really just checking it out to see how do these people play these characters. Oh, this is fun, but like I don't no, want to watch this whole see, thing. You weren't watching like, it; you were telling. just sampling it. You were sampling. Yeah, yeah. I, I I do I do so much sampling mm. that I don't I don't think that's a fair. Yeah. I'm dropping mm-hmm. this. That's, it's just yeah, uh, I experienced what they were kind of doing here. That was fun. Like Bye-bye. you didn't, you didn't, like, you didn't watch enough of it to like make a mark. To, like yeah, I'm not. This is that's not for me. Like you're just like eh, right. maybe maybe later, maybe not. Who knows? Like right. just, it's like watching a preview. That doesn't mean you're gonna watch the movie. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, the preview, right. It's different. It is different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So do we want to talk about like favorite dramas? Like if it, so far. Do we, do we want to keep that to the end? Do we want to, like, really, you know, whet the appetite okay, of the Okay, we could do that, too. Are we, just for in preparation, are we picking, like, a favorite 2023 drama so far? Or just, like, drama, drama we've watched? I just Your drama favorite that you watched. Yes, you could. Yeah. We could do both. Mine happens to be this year, okay. but if it if mm. if you're digging something that wasn't this year, that's, that's cool, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> to find out what that is later in the episode. Ho ho ho. Um, so uh, how's how's the twelve for twelve challenge going? <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone who's unfamiliar, we're doing this challenge this year called the Twelve for Twelve Challenge, where every month we assign a year in the past twelve years to watch a drama that from that year that we never got around to. No. How all of us are doing it in a different way, like our metrics are totally different. But how, how's everyone doing? And and it's for a good time. Like yeah, we don't want to make this. It's not. It's, it's for. It's yeah. not stressful. It, it, it's to help us look through our like, what we're wanting to watch list and mm. like maybe look at some older yeah. stuff. Like yeah. that can be uh-huh. a really good time. Um, so, 
I I made it to I made two months. I you know January and February go me. <laughs> And I made progress on some other stuff, and mm-hmm. that was it. But um, I, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna have to retool some of my stuff, is what mm-hmm. it comes down to. Mm-hmm. But I I also have happened to watch some, like on the front of needing to retool mine. Like I've watched a couple of older dramas that I'm probably just going to sub in, yeah, for things. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But there, there's there's still a lot of dramas on my twelve for twelve that I really want to watch this year mm-hmm. if I can make time to. We'll just see yeah. if it happens. I have decided like I'm not gonna if I I'm not gonna pressure myself with it. Like it, mm-hmm. it's a nice thing, but mm-hmm. I what I was gonna try to really do the buy the book like one year one month blah blah. blah. I'm not doing that. Like mm-hmm. that's just not gonna happen because again, like. No. Just spoiler, like we're gonna be doing an episode soon, which a lot of the ladies have watched already watched a lot of dramas within that mm-hmm. subgenre. I haven't, so and I'm I'm like, oh no. I need to at least watch a few more. <laughs> well well, I, I have oh, like no. two weeks to do that, so like that's a thing. So I mean, just sometimes that happens, it's yeah. not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um as far as is that required? No, but that's something it gives me again a fun opportunity to check out a couple of things that I probably mm-hmm. want to watch anyway. So it's the same type of opportunity. It just mm-hmm. happens to not really be twelve for twelve specific. So I might be retooling a couple of those to go in. You never know. But I really, on that front, I I did watch. So the two I did watch and finish were The Greatest Love and Queen and Hyun's Man. Fell in love with Queen and Hyun's Man. Got the soundtrack yeah. from it. Like I mean. So I'm really happy that I did watch that. That also did launch me into, I will talk about it later. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all a thing. I'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm a month behind at this point. Like I just started my 2014 mm-hmm. drama. I've been trying to do them in the order of the graphic because why not? Um, I finished my 2011 one, loved it. I dropped my 2012 one because it was fine. I just didn't feel like watching it. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I will ever go back to it. Um, my 2013 drama was a Japanese drama that ceased to be in existence for me. Oh, so no. I switched that one out for a K-drama, finished that one, really enjoyed it. Um, well, really enjoyed like three quarters of it. You know, as you do, mm-hmm. and uh, and then I I swapped out my 2014 drama that I just started too because I looked at this drama that I had picked and I looked at it and I said I just don't want to watch that. It, like I am finding I I put these dramas into my 12 for 12 and then I'm like looking at a lot of them going I don't think I actually do want to watch that drama. So it's been good that way because I got most of them off of my plan to watch list. So I'm sort of like at least cutting down the plan to watch list a little bit. But like, oh, I guess I don't really want to watch that. So, And then I had a second one, which was movies. And I'm, again, a month behind on that one. I've watched two of the movies. I dropped the third one because it was just crap. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, I just, I had to stop to like do something. And I just never had an interest in going back to pick it back up because it was so bad. But um, I don't know what my movie is that I'm behind on, but I'm sure I'll find something. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Now, Jesse, I know you're hopscotching around. I am. Mm-hmm. Just because that's just like my way my brain works. <laughs> like, sometimes I can't just be, like, tied down to, like, a certain thing. I'm like, no, I want to watch this right now. Um, but, like, okay, the, draw- the challenge is, like, 50 50 for me I did good some months and then not so good some months um I try I'm like trying to like keep to my list but like I haven't been for mm-hmm. some of them and and it wasn't even like I wanted to drop the one that I had like put in it was more of like a, oh no I really need to like figure out like for this month so I'll just put in something I already watched as a replacement which is like fine and like a perfectly acceptable way of like doing this challenge but I just 
I don't want to do it for all of the months, so I don't want to keep on mm. doing that too because I like right. that, like it's kind of yeah. pushing me to watch like yeah. different things. Like um, Mrs. Cop was one of the or Miss Cop was the one that like I had watched for the challenge, and that was something I probably wouldn't have like made the time to pick up like outside of this challenge because. Because, like, I just wouldn't find the time for it. Like, I'd be like, oh, there's other things that I could be watching, even though it was probably something that I was going to like. So I liked mm. being able to do that. So I don't want to keep it up. But, like, mm. I was so – I thought I, for sure I was going to get in my April 1. Um, and I got halfway through it. And then I just – I want to finish it. But, like, I just, like, have – like april went away before i could finish the other half and i was like oh i, I still feel like is. we're in february just for the record it's like, not really weather does wise, but just like way. time passing wise yeah. like yeah mm-hmm. so like maybe march maybe yeah. if you want to <laughs> know i've done mrs cop um when the camellia blooms and then full-time wife escapist is the one that i subbed in for one of them and the one that I'm currently right now, which will be my April one once I finish it, is this Taiwanese drama called Shards of Her. It's really great and fantastic, but, like, I just didn't get to it. And it's also, like, a psychological thriller, so, like, you can't not be on it because you're uh. picking up on, like, different clues and stuff. And it's, like, you know, very intense and engaging. So, like, you can't just, like, passively watch it either. So, like, yeah. being, like, I can't even even form sentences and what's one plus one like after work like <laughs> it just wasn't happening yeah so i know listeners are all asking themselves does natalia approach this challenge with the same sort of hyper fixational like mania that she does every other aspect of her life why as a matter of fact i did i am totally up to date i'm going from 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 2011 onwards every month uh, i have watched all of the ones uh so i started i started too strong though let me tell you my first drama was so good that all the other ones in comparison rough mm-hmm. rough <laughs> so uh it's like i watched Set of a woman thing. a plus Set of a woman was excellent i watched the innocent man what the fuck was that show <laughs> it was a thing and i watched it uh then i watched <laughs> that winter the wind blows holy bizarre <laughs> relationship <laughs> batman uh, and then that like i just wrong you're all wrong you're all bad people and then uh, <laughs> finally, uh this last month i watched the three musketeers uh which was on tubi and it was so fun so fun so many people uh, watch that like see to me yeah. they're doing good yeah. well, like okay i do i do admit i started a bit of like a wave in one of my group chats because I was like, yeah, I'm watching the three Musketeers. It's like really fun. And literally every single person in that 12 person group chat was like, I'm going to go watch three Musketeers now. Like, oh, that's, I didn't know that was on Tubi. It's been on my list. So Tubi, if you're seeing like a bizarre, like uptick in people watching the three Musketeers, you can trace it back to your old patient zero. Over here. You're welcome. And yeah. you're welcome to sponsor us. Yeah, please, please. please. We're not sponsored, but please, please you have a lot of Asian horror. Call me, please. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's been you know, that's been going that's been going well for me. I get to, it's, you know, I do think it's a fun yeah. challenge. Like I really do. It like is. It, I do. It, it is. It, it also has redoability. Spin. Like yeah. you just move exactly. up. Exactly. It, it. Yeah, and if or you could even I mean not really if you go really past 2010. There are some dramas out there, but good good luck to you. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. You. yeah. <laughs> well, you can also, like, one of the things that I was toying with that I decided not to, but now that I have Crunchyroll, I could do, um, was <laughs> do the the challenge, but do it with anime. Anime. And, like, you know, mm. Amanda's doing the movie stuff. Like, do, it like, a specific genre of movie. You could be, like, action movies and then just, like, do it that way. I think that that's what's, like, good about the challenge, that it's kind of, like... Mm. It's, flexible yeah, for yeah. everybody's viewing it's also like if you wanted to keep to one country if mm. you wanted to even mm-hmm. use it for western media, yeah like yeah. If, yeah. like i know for me i i need to play a lot of catch-up for western media for certain years of my life that i wasn't watching a lot of stuff so mm-hmm. like I, or just I, I could use this structure yeah or yeah specific platforms yeah even just tubi you could just yeah, just be like in, only right. tubi stuff i, I mean YouTube. Who knows like, how you long this uh, this writer strike is gonna last? 
you may wish to go catch up on some older Western dramas if that's mm-hmm. your thing right yeah, now. Yeah, Solidarity because, with, the, you know, with the Strikers. Because I keep seeing these things where they're like, and we're going to keep on filming because we already have the scripts. And I'm like, ooh. Hmm. I remember sketchy. the last time. Those seasons we of all seasons. remember heroes. <laughs> we okay? all do. We all remember heroes. Regrettably, we all do. <laughs> we all remember heroes. <sighs> so, uh, anyone have some uh, new obsessions, new things, new errands? <laughs> as Sky put in, Sky, Sky <laughs> wrote in the doc today. New eras, as the kids say. We're down with the youth. <laughs> okay. Hello, fellow kids. Hello, fellow um, children. <laughs> so, as far as, like, during during this few months span of this year, um, yes, I had definitely one era. I had half of another era, but it kind of didn't quite take off because I got distracted with other things. But... Um, Queen In Hyun's man set off an era for me mm. of <laughs> Ji Hyun Woo. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I I felt mm-hmm. the spirit led me to <laughs> watch as much as I possibly could mm-hmm. of this very introverted man. Honestly, one of my like <laughs> favorite ways to like watch dramas is just to pick an actor and just go through Yeah, everything. just go. Like, so I do that we do our time. actor deep dives are actually the most fun homework that we do because it like allows me to like lean into that. See, my problem is yeah. I never do it with actors that we actually do these deep dives. Yeah. It's always me just going on a bizarre it's tangent also, like, with like a Taiwanese guy. Like, what I did at the very that? beginning, like once I like got past like got in my foot into like dramas i was like okay i'll just like follow this person and then follow the next person yeah and then, yeah mm. so much fun so i and sky you must have had fun <laughs> yeah like it, it was it's really enjoyable because i one of the things i like about watching dramas and i guess why i even brought up earlier i like even that whole sampling drama thing the reason i do that a lot is because even if it's not an actor or actress that I like follow super closely, but if I know them well enough and I've seen them in something else, I love seeing them in a very different role. Mm -hmm. Like even if it's just for half an episode or an episode, I get a huge kick out of watching people be able to do that. I think it's really cool. So, and like, that's why I like taxi driver so much because they have like sub characters within characters. And so like, it's just fun to see all that. But so like, that's why I find going down the rabbit hole with an actor actress or something yeah. like it's really fun because you experience it back to back it's really mm-hmm. funny if you're getting similar characters but then they're just a little bit different and it's and you can pick them out more because you're watching it yeah. immediately um so but yeah it was really fun because jihan was like his his roles that i watched and stuff they were like drastically different yeah. like um his Queen Yen Hyun's main character was, like, super brilliant and, like, super introverted. And then, like, the next one I watched, he he was, like, a pop idol star. Was it, tra- was was super, it Trot Lovers? Trot Lovers. He was super full of himself. Yes. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then it's also fun if it happens to be someone that has done just enough variety to do, mm-hmm. like, Beyond the Manager. So he had been on the manager. And so I was able to watch the episode mm-hmm. showing him just having a very super simple life. Just reading his little scripts and just being a dude and it's just funny to like it's enjoyable to see how people actually are or at least Mm. what they choose to show on that show um i just think it's neat because i think people are very talented and it's obvious that they work super hard so it's like it's a way to really appreciate the craft that i really don't know that much about but i'm just like wow you guys really cool for instance like he's the type of person that he would go into his company just to watch the like he doesn't have a TV in his house, so he would go sit at the company to watch shows, That's like so funny, or watch I, a show that he was on to like monitor. 
I would like, have that dude. energy too. Like, <laughs> and we just like sit out in the lobby and then like we like you know admin just comes over and hangs out on their break. <laughs> that, that's that's what it was. That's exactly that's what name. happened. Like it was sort of like that video of Kian eighty four, which got them to to cast him on Home Alone, where he didn't have a house, so he was washing himself in the sink at his like webtoon company, and everyone oh. was like, "This is the most like well known webtoon creator in Korea." And he's like, "There was like a documentary about webtoons," and he's like washing his hair in the bathroom sink in the public washroom, and they're like, "Oh my god, this this man is." pathetic and terrible we have to cast him at once cast him away. We, must, we must cast him at once <laughs> do you want some money to continue yeah. being pathetic no like listen if you're not already watching home alone oh my when god when i tell so... you home alone is the greatest variety show it really really is that ever existed <laughs> If you just want to see people who play these suave, hot characters, just you see how pathetic and sad they are in real life, you're just like, they're one of us. <laughs> Perfect. Well, and I, I get a kick out of, like, they're one of us. Like, it, yeah. it really mm-hmm. is funny. So, yeah. yeah. I enjoy it. But, so that was my era. And then my second era, uh, what was it? What did I watch? Let me go look at my little list here. I am pulling up all the wrong things. It was, Crush. Crash Course in Romance led me. I was starting oh, yeah. the Jung Kyung Ho mm. era. Mm-hmm. I was. Mm-hmm. But then I got distracted with a lot yeah. of other stuff. So. Mm-hmm. so there's a drama of his that I am about done with. I, there's a lot of dramas that I'm about done with that didn't make my cut mm-hmm. of 22, but that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. But I, I, I really did. So I, do, I recommend it. I mean, some people would think, oh, you're like super obsessed with this actor or something or do that. That's not really the way I personally do it. If some people do, that's totally legit. That's totally fine. Mm-hmm. It's just like Jesse was saying, I, I find it fun. It's a fun way to kind of cater the dramas you're watching mm-hmm. and experience it a certain way. It's kind of like a certain frame or perspective mm-hmm. around. And like I said, you kind of get to experience the characters all in a row. Mm-hmm. And so you kind of see the actor a little bit differently after that. And I think that's kind of neat. So I recommend it. Like, like with our drama rut episode, like if you just, if you're in a drama watching mood still, but you're like feeling lost, but Mm -hmm. if, if you kind of are charmed by somebody or if you think someone's pretty neat and you haven't watched all their stuff yet, go check out the rest of their stuff. Like you'll probably have fun doing it. It's, it's just a good frame to try. It's kind of like the the 12 for 12 challenge. Like, it's just, sometimes that's what you need is just something to, like, push you into Uh making the decision or whatever, right? So Right. Especially if you already kind of want to watch a few of those dramas. Like, if they're already on your list, it's like, ooh, if I go through these, that's four dramas I'm down. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. I'm making it sound like I'm so, like, number-centric with the stuff. I'm not. These were just all dramas that I already wanted to watch anyway. So, like, it led me to go try them out. And then I ended up enjoying them. Even if some of them might not be a drama I would necessarily, like, really recommend or something. But if I had fun watching it, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And I had a good time. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Any new eras, Amanda? Hmm. I, uh, let me think. What's new? What's new with me? <laughs> Or in the uh, last few, you know, the last few months, yeah. like, did you? Because my Jihoon Wu era, like, it was a couple <laughs> months back. Like, I, I finished it up. I All the ones that were available, I watched. So that was the thing. So she and had I was to move like, on. <laughs> actually, there yeah. was one I haven't watched yet. But then I'm like, okay, you need to make more for me now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I guess I'm in my, like my daily watching era because mm. I like started two new dailies. Mm. I have since decided that they are not for me, but like... You wanted to try daily, them. Yeah, like you that daily that we, we watched, I enjoyed it. I, end, you know, it ended pretty decently and I was like, yeah, I want more of that in my life. So what new... I mean, I knew there's, there's always these dailies that are just like 100% revenge based and they're yeah. very, you know, and I was like, those are not for me. That's mm-hmm. not my, you know, scene. So I picked two that like looked like they were going to be the family style. And the one totally is, but it really kind of annoys me because it's like all the characters are like adopted or 
single parents or whatever. And there's just so much constant. Negativity. Well, they can't be any good because they're adopted. They can't be any good because they, you know, and I was just like. I will I have you no career. <laughs> adopted like, kids are great. And putting exactly. that out there. So <laughs> I was like, eh, this one's not. And the mm-hmm. one wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It was just sort of like. I just don't have it in me to so, deal with that right now. Do dailies, know? like, I don't know, do dailies and weekenders sometimes do this whole set up a premise like that, and then mm-hmm. by the end it's like, oh, we learned that people aren't I, as crappy yeah. as we tried to set them up to be. Yeah. yeah. But it's usually, unfortunately, everybody gets a redemption arc. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. literally mm-hmm. everybody. And sometimes it's just the redemption is that they – they go to the police station and admit they're the murderer or whatever. And they're supposed to be like, okay, well, then that's good. You know? And then everyone's like, like, oh, that's so charming. It's like, no, it's not charming. Right? Like, you just, and it'll be, and it won't ever be, wow, like the, the weekender I'm watching right now, there's a whole thing about, you know, adoption and stuff. And, you just know that it's never going to be that grandma is going to have this epiphany and realize that she has been a terrible human being for the last, you know, 30 Uh years of this kid's life. It's, it's just going to be, wow, I'm sorry that I hurt this other couple Uh or something. Right. Like, and then you're supposed to be like, Oh, that's okay. Grandma. And everybody's going to hug and make up. And you're like, no, I need I her to fall so like, down yeah. the stairs or like have a real epiphany. Where I need like, her to find out she was adopted. Like yeah, I need that to right? be a big birth yeah. secret that she now has to live with. Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently yeah. being adopted is like the worst thing in the world. Like, oh, man, let me tell you. Chris, <laughs> chill out. Chill so, out. So, says <laughs> Natalia, the adopted one. The adopted like, yeah. <laughs> you, you you don't see the disdain on in her face. Like that's why I'm um, saying that. Yeah. Like she's she's super disdainful mm-hmm. right now. Amanda, I'm what I'm hearing yeah. is you're I, really in your soap opera era. Right? Like, <laughs> you're, living, like, you're living that yeah. soap life. So living that that one like, for anyone so who's bad. not aware, dailies are basically just soap operas. Yeah. Yeah. They're the closest so, one. Sometimes they're like they're also sometimes the sitcoms like it's they, yeah. you know you get those like those older ones the high kick ones mm. and stuff they're more yeah. like that sitcom vibe but yeah it, it's generally it's a sitcom or it's like a soap opera there's no in between with dailies like they're they're either friday afternoon or they're like tgif stuff it's it's yeah Mm-hmm. And I am more of one for the TGIF, <laughs> like, family stuff than I am for mm-hmm. the non That's, a, that's or, understandable. You know. It's too bad that there aren't different, uh, like, terminologies for them to where mm-hmm. you could yeah. differentiate easier before you even mm-hmm. started it. Yeah. Like, oh, that version. Oh, okay, I'll try that one. The posters tell you nothing. The posters tell you yeah. nothing. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, sometimes it is, like, sometimes you look at it and you're like, mm, this is a very dark looking, like, that's probably and then you read the like thing and it's like revenge 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 murder revenge you're like yeah okay i i think i got the vibe i think the vibes the vibe check has happened so so uh so i know of a few eras i know a few eras you're in so um you know i said i i need to come to things on my own and just they happen (laughs) when they happen and, like, despite already being into them, like, passively, and us doing an entire episode on them, um, I am very much in my stay area <laughs> era of life. Yeah, um, yeah. I am very, She's joined me in the dark side. Very much obsessed <laughs> with Stray Kids, uh, which stay is the fandom. But I just realized, I was like, people probably don't know. Um, well, if people have been longtime listeners to this podcast, you will know because we did a whole we episode about it. We did a whole episode last for Natalia's birthday. birthday. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it's just one of those things I knew it was bound to happen. Um, they are a JYP group. So, were, were you holding it back like a little bit? The kid with his finger in the wall. A little when bit. Like, a there's lot always of water. like times when I like, even if it's subconsciously, I know, like, oh, you're just gonna get really into this. Just like, just 
save your mental energy, you're going to get obsessed, <laughs> Jesse. And like something happened. Well, I know what happened. Work happened. And, I, and then I was like, oh, I'm just going to like watch all this stuff. And then here we are. Um, I am very much into <laughs> Stray Kids. And that's all I've been watching, basically, except for my other era, which is like, a new like thing that I got Sky into. I'm so glad. I was like, I found this group on TikTok, and then I started just <laughs> spamming everyone with vid like videos from TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, the group Plave. I am obsessed with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my life has been Stray Kids videos because that's Stray Kids has like. A an insane amount of content so you can never watch yeah. enough and then plave does live streams and it's those and for anyone unaware plave is a uh, they have <laughs> virtual avatar so they're, yeah. they're a k-pop band who has like like if you've ever seen like a vtuber it's essentially yeah. that but it's it's so group. it's so wild um because it's not like ai like they're not created like digitally yeah they're not a vocaloid or yeah. something like yeah. they're they're, they're, real they're dudes they're real people they like they're have... like they're really in the room when they're having live streams they're they're in the room they just wear an outfit that has sensors on it and that's like translated to the their digital like overprint mm -hmm. on them and that's what you see is the digital yeah. imprint but when they move it's literally them moving and it's been just like super fascinating to watch them just because it's like an interesting concept to do because it's, it's not just cool. like you know someone sitting there animating it it's like them really doing all this stuff and they're like the best thing about them <laughs> is that they also are just like completely clueless to all this technology they're just k-pop idols right so <laughs> the like technology glitches a lot because it glitches it's not like mm -hmm. it's perfect, not perfect. Right. But the way that they respond to these glitches is like the most hilarious thing in the entire world. Like it's, it's as if it's as if so if you've seen other K pop groups whenever like one of them maybe accidentally splits their pants or something and so they all like try to go around the guy mm -hmm. to like give him privacy or like all this stuff. It's the same thing. The same so if thing. all of a sudden a guy's dude a guy's dude a guy's shoulder goes backwards and his arm is behind his yeah. head they have to they like huddle around and they're like Funny. oh no are you okay and, like, they all like respond to it differently like some of them are like, like whoa 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 or like some of them will quietly just like walk off camera like you just just see them like in the background slowly <laughs> walking out uh, but then you have like ones like a uh, member his name is bambi he just likes to try to reset it by like punching <laughs> Or kicking like he's like maybe it will work if i just flail my arms around and it's so hilarious and or, or or like there was something they did recently like they played the red light green light oh yeah light yeah game from squid game or whatever um so it, it was all mostly working okay there was some glitching until they started running and their <laughs> legs could not keep up so the virtual legs they were floating They're with their funny. legs like all floating like, <laughs> kind of like banners also behind them. It was too. so So funny. like the person would turn around and like another person would be hovering in the air and then they like jump like in like it they teleport it, it catch like up they, with them <laughs> like so they like move a bit more too and you're like and the the person who's turned around has to like realize that they can't count that jump because it was just the delay. <laughs> it's oh my gosh, it's so funny. There's like one like video clip that's just hilarious and it's two of the guys and one of the guys like pants start glitching and he starts freaking out and so the other guy like moves in front of him because they had like already decided they were going to do this dance so they like he moves in front of him and he's like screaming in the back he's like help help me help me <laughs> and the other kid is sitting there and they're both crouched down and he's sitting there obviously trying to like reach the computer to change to the screensaver so that they could switch out of it but like he's laughing so hard that he's sitting there like it, it's really funny because you can the the laptop's not like 
digitally imprinted Visible. too so it's like yeah. just like them like touching something you can kind of realize that they're touching it but like he's sitting there laughing and then he'll just kind of like sink and start laughing even more while the guy in the back is like help help me <laughs> and, then, and then they're like calling to staff and like you don't even know if there's staff in the room like we have no idea they like what's try going. to like stand up and he's like no no <laughs> and jumps down again it's just it's hilarious they play horror games too they freak out they try to like they get into like really obsessive like about like certain like um k-pop songs like rover was like the big hit and so like they they make every song into rover like it'd be a ballad and they'd be like rover rover (laughs) (laughs) or they also like they really like anti-fragile because they like shaking their butt like Like, they they think that's super fun (laughs) that's also the thing they know that they don't like their digital like their faces aren't the same so they're like very much more comfortable with doing anything Mm. and everything because they don't have to like suffer the consequences like essentially like not like they're not bad but like you know they don't do the same things that like you know other idols would like be like that's not pretty proper they're like okay i'm gonna kick you <laughs> like <laughs> so right. yeah it, it's super cute they also have all powers kind of like exo but since mm. since they're avatars they so like they can open up their mouth and bubbles yeah. come out for the guy that does One of like, has, like is um, his thing. Bangs, like a like a werewolf yeah like yeah it's so, really it's funny between plave and then all of stray kids which i like we don't have to discuss play the stray kids stray kids are amazing and wonderful and that's all i you know they revisit yeah revisit, revisit the our episode, episode. um but yeah that's like been my those are my like eras i guess you could say j drama but not really because like it no, that's always, always been your era that's it, always been it's always been it just to haven't had the access so but you're super happy about the access. I am. I'm super happy about the access. I am super ha- like it is fun being into new groups again and like mm-hmm. kind of like that new like oh like watching all the content and everything's new mm-hmm. and then they just like so happen to like do a comeback like or announce a comeback like right when I'm doing this as well. So then that's been fun, you know. Mm-hmm. It's just fun. I'm enjoying my eras. <laughs> you're having a K-pop moment. I am yeah. having a K-pop moment. It's fun and. Stray kids are, they're, they're adorable. Great. They're, 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 they're a delight. They're a delight. They really are. They're fun. Italian. So I have like two distinct eras. One of them's not even like Asian entertainment related. Um, so my my other thing that I like doing besides watching an ungodly amount of dramas is I watch an ungodly amount of YouTube Let's Plays. Mm-hmm. Um, and every once in a while I just add a new Let's Player to my roster. And I've recently been really into RT Game. Um, I love our team game. Oh my so god, so fucking funny! I can love him. My, my, like, I started watching him, and then my husband started watching him with me because he's like, "This guy is fucking hilarious." He's and what so got funny. Matthew? I was watching his Stardew Valley Let's Play where he's playing it as though he's Walter White in Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know anything about Stardew Valley, that makes zero sense. But Th- does he do voices or he something? Does or how does the, he do he, that? Of course, he does the voices. So he's okay, just, like I'm trying to imagine how you would play a game as Walter. <laughs> so there's there's a character called Sebastian in Stardew Valley, and so he'll constantly like every time he runs him, he'll be like, "Sebby, Sebby, we gotta cook, Sebby, <laughs> Sebby, follow me, we gotta cook." <laughs> like it's. Oh my god! I got so into funny. him from his um. He used to do roller coaster tycoon yeah, videos. Yeah, his roller coaster tycoon videos are They're so funny. And then the the hilarious. city. What is that like city game Sim or like city? no the. City. City builder, Skylines? yeah, the one city where you Skylines. build the city, like, and you have to build roads and stuff. Yeah, but then you can Skylines, also yeah. like put down a tornado. <laughs> yeah, but like, oh my gosh, he's so he's hilarious, it's so Skylines. good. And just this week, I've become obsessed. There's this game that I didn't even know existed, and it was for the Wii, <laughs> and it's called Metopia. <laughs> and it's basically you didn't like, know that was a thing? That was a huge no, like pop culture moment I back then. I didn't have a Wii, okay? Okay, so so I will say, I mean, it it was back when like when we were in college, yeah. like that's that's mm-hmm. when that was a big big thing, mm-hmm. because that's like when we was kind of new or whatever. And I I was in an ice storm. I was stuck on camp on my college campus with mm-hmm. a very few amount of students, and we were we had to sleep in one lobby of one of our dorms. Like it was crazy. 
And, um, but there was a Wii. Someone had a Wii. So we yep. played a lot of Metopia crap. <laughs> like, so it's, it's like this RPG game, but he has, he put in all of these, like, characters. So, like, he'll have Goofy in there. He has Barack Obama. He has Mr. Bean. And, like, it's just like they're all playing characters in this very stupid oh, RPG. Game. Yeah. It's so f- his he's i was thinking anyway. of just the me's in general i was like the me's have been around forever and then he yes. does he like does like collabs with one of my other favorite let's players the spiffing brit who if you okay pre-warning to anyone who doesn't know anything about the spiffing brit going in everything he says is a parody because he'll talk a lot like, oh, God bless the queen. Like, you know, and he'll say a lot of things that like, if you don't know, he's joking, sound bad. Like, downright like, oh, but like when you realize that he's playing a bit as like an, an imperialist British guy who speed runs games and like tries to like exploit games, he's hilarious. But he plays like Mario Party with like him and a bunch of other, uh, there's, it's, I can't describe, like, I tried to just explain to my sister why watching grown men play video games is entertaining, and I can't, I don't know why. It just, it is. It just is sometimes. It is. So. Sometimes something just brings you joy, and no, that's it just okay. Does. It's fun. Like Lizzie, Lizzie, like Lizzie the kitty in the cat. Background. Um, so my second era is related to Jesse. Um, my second era is fucking with Jesse's TikTok algorithm. Yeah, that is. Sending her videos <laughs> yeah. that fuck with it. And so basically, I've been convincing her TikTok that she loves Chang Ben. Which I, I think it may be biased, related Jessie? somewhat to this new Stray Kids era <laughs> that she's in. It's been a real long con that I've been playing with her for what, FYP on yeah. TikTok. She really so was... I've, been, uh, I've been playing the long game and, with this And the one. problem is... Natalia and I's, like, FYPs are already super similar anyways. So that's why she can do it so convincingly, too. Yes. Because we're already already keep... there. She just, like, pushed like, it over. Yeah, because every video you watch... Informs it. Informs it. So if I just keep sending her yeah. Chang Bin videos, and it's like, she gets more Chang Bin content. That because if, like, you don't send me any videos... I don't get the content, but if mm-hmm. it's like it's waiting in my oh. inbox, I do get the content. And like, mm-hmm. listen, he is not my bias, but he's fine to sure. like watch. Sure I am that. positive because sure. I am positive <laughs> that the shorter version, Australia version of Chansung is my bias, and my bias record is one thousand percent. You know, just like there's no way. I'm sorry. I love them both. Don't worry, people. I'll get her one of these days. But She's gonna be a muscle mama. hey you. But I love uh, the, the, um, like, the Mad Dog the, Suck the, the, Chang the, Bin crossovers the, that I said No. <laughs> the, like, Chang Bin Felix Hyunjin triangle. Love triangle, that, that, yes. That mm. just, like, keeps on, like, going around. Uh, like, yeah. 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 I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So those were our eras, and I think, you know, it's finally time to get down to the real meat of this episode. Now, I think we already know the answer to Jessie's. What's her new favorite group? I think we just, <laughs> yeah. we just, we just covered that. that. Um, I feel like that that has been, you know, mm-hmm. we got that. Does anyone else have any other groups that they've picked up that they're really into these days? So I, I will, I'll bring up um, <clears throat> Billy, and I know that Jessie's mm-hmm. into Billy lately, too. Mm-hmm. So, and and both her and I have been watching Billy super closely for a, a few comebacks yeah. now. Like, like we've been listening to them and stuff. But uh, Jessie figured out that she's into them as well. So, yeah. 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 Billy's exactly. always great. Like, check out their music, seriously. Yeah, I, I was telling Sky earlier today, it was like one of those things where I was like, really like realize that they are like the only group that I haven't like claimed as a favorite that I will mm. listen to their entire album when it drops. Cause mm. they're B sides. And I think I've even said it on the podcast. Their B sides are so good. They are excellent. And then I've been doing this thing where I've like pick a song and then let Spotify create the radio station from them. And Spotify's like, you like belly and has been just like constantly giving me belly and i'm like every single time i'm like i like this song it's belly so then i'm like <laughs> i like, it do turns out i do like belly, belly. 
What's also just a little asterisk tiny story since this is just kind of a chatty episode. So just yesterday I was talking to Natalia and I was like, you know, because I was talking about like, I don't want to buy a heck ton more light sticks, but like Billy would probably be, mm. I'm like, I hope, I hope that Billy's isn't like really, really cool. Cause then I'm going to be super, super tempted, you know, like blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like that's essentially what I said. Uh-huh. And then today they drop like the today. silhouette of their light stick design. I'm like, rude, rude. How did you hear me? Because I was just, si- you know, also another rude thing is when all of your faves have comebacks at like literally the exact oh same gosh. time. Because how are you supposed to ever have money? The end of May, right. June lineup is, I can't deal. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm like, ATs and Dreamcatcher, you guys have a Venn diagram of fans. Please. You share the Separate, same Separate, like, your comebacks. Come on. Yeah. You have the same songwriters. Like, you gotta, you gotta space this. On our wallets, please. <laughs> yeah, that it's like, we over here, ATs is like, yeah, we're dropping our, like, concert DVD. And, like, there's just all this. It's like, guys, you need, mm-hmm. everyone needs to calm down and also not always come back at the same time. Yeah, and then also so, Pentagon's I, doing I, something today. Yeah, Pentagon is doing some Japanese drop of some sort and i'm like okay okay everyone needs but what i do appreciate with overlap comebacks is interactions if they mm-hmm. get any your interactions because there's kind of mm-hmm. there used to be more of those prior to covid stuff yeah. so yeah. like mm-hmm. anyway so it used to be like oh they're gonna interact like of course they're gonna interact yeah. now it now it's a little bit more because of tiktok mm-hmm. dance things they try to do to go viral so mm-hmm. at least she hopefully gets some of that but we'll see mm-hmm. i'm just saying they need to have mercy. <laughs> but yes, Billy. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't picked my birthday episode yet, but we'll no. see. We'll see. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, I like, I see. admittedly, like, I am only into them with music, so I don't, like, really know the, like, I kind of know the lore based on the first song, but I don't know, mm-hmm. like, that much into it, so, or, like, really well, the members. Been- so that's it's kind of like if fun. anyone asked me even Dreamcatcher lore I'm or AT's lore, I'm gonna be like, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. I have no The only thing clue. I know is that Billy is their all of their best friend who went into like another dimension and they're very upset that she did. <laughs> Cause they and, feel and sometimes bad. it's and sometimes it's kind of creepy. Yeah, like it's it's hmm. like stranger critters but like Yeah. Okay. Like and they have really funky like album covers these days, like oh my God, the like kind of on cool them. art. Oh. Yeah, like very very funky. So, yeah, uh, Billy, check them out and Plave. So Plave, we already talked about that, but they've kind of been talking like they might have another comeback. Plave, sometime, yeah, they've been so hinting, like, and I'm like, well, 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 well. And Plave, their which, first which, like song is actually really good. It's this great it is. pop rock ballad. Like it's Ooh. perfect. It's really great. They're great I, singers and yeah. stuff. Like, they're marvelous. During their lives, they sing all the time. Like, they're always doing covers. Yep. So nice. it, It's also cool because, he, like, they were, quote, unquote, on one of, like, the music shows and stuff. And, <laughs> like, it, it's neat that they... It's cool. Because the technology is cool enough that it looks like they're shadows and stuff. Like, yeah. it's yeah. it's neat to watch. It's not like, oh, just cartoons doing stuff. No, it's, like, it's pretty neat stuff. So... We might do a live stream about that sometime because Jesse and I could probably mm. go on and on and on about. We can do an intro <laughs> to play. Mm. Intro to play because they all have oh. a little different character outfit situations, and I just think it's adorable. Like there's even like oh, we're keeping talking about there's even a one member who's like decided that he doesn't remember his like birthday, so he's the mock name. Yeah, despite <laughs> the fact that as with many K-pop groups, he is ginormous. He's, gin- he is he's obviously probably the largest dude. Also, the oldest too. You're like you're probably the oldest, right? Yeah, like. But as far as the way his the way his avatar looks, like the broadest shoulders yeah. by far, the tall, like it's just funny. Like, yeah, he's the Mac Day. Whatever, <laughs> sure he is. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, but then he does all the cutesy crap all the time. It's mm-hmm. like you're ginormous, dude. Okay, whatever. Mm. <laughs> How about you, Amanda? Uh, I really like xg mm-hmm. i yeah you know they don't have a ton of stuff and and i think everybody like they kind of have caught people's attention with their uh with shooting star and left right mm-hmm. that came out a couple months ago um i've heard a lot of people say like they 
technically debuted last March, like a year ago, mm-hmm. and a lot of people are like, oh, but I didn't like their debut, but I did. I I yeah. really like, um, I, I like the first song, Tippy Toes. I enjoy Mascara. I really like Shooting Star. I really, I, really, I, I started looking into them a couple months ago because um, Jackson was on somebody's YouTube channel or something, and the guy was like, have you seen these girls? They rap. What do you think? And so there's like this video of Jackson mm. reacting to mm. the rap line has a, a cipher. It's called Girls Cipher, but it's spelled like Z-Y-P-H-E-R. That's and, funny. Um, and it's so it's just sort of them all introducing themselves with these like verses. And they're so good. And like Jackson was just like blown away. He was like this is like the future of rap this is incredible like they like they're very talented all of the, i mean the mm-hmm. vocalists are really did you see well. they announced uh they're doing a remix of the song with jackson and releasing oh, it nice i think it's in a couple awesome. days or even like maybe okay. tomorrow or something no yeah. i was like watching a bunch of other like snippets and videos and stuff of them today and i was like yeah i just it's a cool group i like them their like they're, concept is interesting because they're all japanese but they only sing in english but they only promote in korea like yeah 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 (laughs) it's it's kind of wild and it's and i mean and one of them is um she's australian like she's Mm -hmm. japanese australian Yeah, i think there's like maybe like one member who's japanese korean then they do like i would say like half the group knows at least a little bit of korean too and then yeah English at There's at least one who's like completely like fluent in Korean, but yeah, they they sort of all have little bits smatterings here and there, and you'll see them like talking when they talk to each other. Often it's in Japanese, but then some of them it's always in Japanese, and some of them will be talking in Korean or English or something with each other. And but they're very talented. They're very interesting. Like you don't often see. We don't get seem to get a lot of girl groups now where the rap is like the the center of it. There's usually mm-hmm. rappers and you know, but like this is like it's it's conceptually it feels a little bit more like the setup of a, a lot of the boy groups where they build it around the rap core now and then have add the vocalists and add the you know to the extra which mm. is kind of different for a girl group. But then they also like, like I was watching the video behind the scenes of them recording shooting star. And the one vocalist is talking to the the producer and she's like, no, but like when I read these lyrics, they sound bright and shiny and, and upbeat to me. So I want to sing them that way. And he's like, okay, we can try it that way. And like, and yeah, like when you listen to shooting star, it's like, it's got these like, heavy sort of beats to it and then all of a sudden it'll like hit this like switch and it's like a very classic sort of girl group light Mm -hmm. vibe to it and you're Mm. like oh okay yeah okay and it it works so they've got good voices and they're very they're just fun Mm. so i'm yeah that's fun how about you natalia uh, oh, I thought. I was, was going to say, I was going to say, when Jesse Stray kids, I think we know. Stray that was just going to go, hmm. You know, um, just I'm DM just me. still, listen, I'm still in like my Jeff Satter uh, promotional mm. tour situation where right. I just go and tell everyone, hey. Yeah. Y'all should, y'all should check out Jeff Satter. You really should. Yeah. But um, like, also visually, too. Yeah. Like you in every. Listen, I mean, yeah, like you listening should, to you him should also is Check great. out uh, Jeff Satter. Um, check it out. Yeah, yeah. All, all the meanings of the phrase. Yeah, just yeah. Take, yeah. Take, take what you will from that. Statement. Don't stop at one. <laughs> no, just keep going. Keep going. Go all the way back. Watch ingredients. You won't, you won't, it's not. You won't. Be, it's not wrong. You'll have a great time. Um, it's, it's not. It never, it's always the right idea. Um, but yeah, that you know, he's just fantastic, and I think he's very talented. He's a very talented, very talented gentleman. And he's, he's for the people, okay? Jeff Satter's for the people. <laughs> All right. 
we're finally here. I know I said we were going there before, but we're actually here now. Um, let's start with our runners up. Because, you know, you can't go with the top ones, right? You got to do the little runners Ooh. up. Somebody's How like, many runners? Okay. Just one, just one, one. Okay. okay? We're going to do our top two dramas that we've watched so far this year. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> do you really say it has to be two? It has to be like, two. Ladies, if you want to give three or four, you go. Like, if okay, fine. Okay, tells fine. you. Okay, fine. I'm just saying, if, you, if you're if you solidly like, I really want to say, because especially if they're in different genres mm-hmm. and stuff, like, if you're yeah. really wanting to mention something, mention something. But Okay. Okay, uh, we're, okay we're not going to keep it that strict. Just, what are your, not, okay, but only one number one, okay? I draw in the line somewhere, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so many rules. I know. I know. I'm a I know. Tonight, keeping us on track. Uh, so yeah, so what's some, what, what are some like? What, no, let's call them honorable mentions. Okay, fine. I will start with my honorable mentions, plural, plural. Uh, so island. Mm. I'm gonna honorably mention island, <laughs> part one and two, honorably. whatever you want to call island. <laughs> I'm honorably mentioning it. It is very honorable of a show. I, I really, I really do enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So, but to me. That even straddled the line of like the year, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but ha- had to mention that. Uh, call it love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, I, I call it love and Taxi Driver too. I'm on my promotional tour. I know, both guys, of these. number one. <laughs> yeah, since I haven't mentioned it, we will we will talk about that soon. Those of you who have listened. Honorable I'm honorably <laughs> mentioning these three. Oh which God. if you've listened to the past two what we're watching, they're the main things I've been talking about. <laughs> right. So anyway, anyone could have guessed those for me. Thank you. I've already talked about them a lot on our episodes. I don't need to discuss them further. <laughs> Though, go watch Call It Love. Give it a shot. I want to just say that to everybody. Man, I want some honorable mentions you got for us. My honorable mentions, uh, I guess I sort of had three that were kind of like all tied. So mm. I went with the ones that I just generally picked the the one that actually is a 2023 one to be the top. So my honorable mentions for this year are um, right now are the K drama. May I help you? Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, really, really enjoyed that. Like, I don't math, but whatever. There's like two episodes that I could do without, but the rest of it, like, I laughed, I cried, it was great. Um, and then, first love, Hatsukoi. Like, it's mm-hmm. such a good drama. Like, it was very, very yeah. good, and um, just very top tier stuff there as well. So. Those would be my honorable mentions for this year so far. Okay. Um, honorable mentions for me. Okay. So I'm going to have to do this because I haven't fully watched it yet. But I can't in good faith put it as my top, even though I think it's going to be my top. Eighth yeah. Sense is an honorable mm. mention, but like it's probably going to be a top and it could be one of my top dramas, just period. Um, like right now it is, it's, mm. it's just so good. I, the one main lead character is written so well and he does so well with it. It's just like absolutely incredible to watch on screen. Um, and I also, a hit list episode we did connect mm. is oh, one of, yes. yeah, like my like honorable mentions, like it's rated pretty high, like. Like, I really enjoyed Connect a lot. It was from last year, but, like, I had fun with it. And I had fun talking about it on our episode, but, yeah. Mm. Uh, So, for honorable mentions here, obviously, new employee. Obsessed. Love it. We did Um, an episode about it. We did an episode. The three three KBL episode that we did about it. Um. I really liked the C drama High Venus. I thought that was very fun. Um, and also, 
uh, Moonlight Chicken. Moonlight Chicken. Yeah, was, that's was still on my fantastic. list. Fantastic. Uh, it was very, very fun. And, and it's almost as good as the one I picked for number one. But <laughs> we know you've been waiting. We know. There's, there's a, but there's an asterisk for Natalia of honorably mentioning Cutie Pie. Yeah, because she's just gonna always honorably mention listen, Cutie Pie. Yeah. Cutie Pie and Cutie Pie. Listen, Cutie Pie Two, the little four episode sequel, was very fun. Um, uh, it had Stewart officiating a wedding, and what's not to love? Okay. Um, but yes, now finally, we're here. It's time. What the point of this whole episode? You've been waiting. What do we? What is up as of? May 4th, the day mm-hmm. we're recording this. Mm-hmm. What is the top drama we've watched so far this year? Sky, I think I know what yours is. <laughs> I wonder what. what. Yes. It's Alchemy of Souls. It is! Yeah, that's what I thought what? it was. Yes. Part, no. Parts one and two. I get to, same thing with that. I get to cheat. I get to put yeah, them yeah, together. Yeah, because that's They work together. That's one girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, Alchemy of Souls, man. The reality is, so Alchemy of Souls Part One probably hits like top of last year, and Alchemy of Souls Part Two this year. But it's it's mm-hmm. all the same show, hey. whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I like it a lot. If you feel like you want to go watch it, maybe I I encourage you to do so. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. Amanda. Uh, my top drama. Uh, is the sea drama Meet Yourself. Um, mm. All the small town feels and the found family vibes. And it just, is it the best drama that I've watched this year? Probably not. Because, like, let's be honest. Like, that's just subjective. Yeah. This is not an right? objective yeah. fact. This is but a subjective fact. I don't blame also to the I... fact if you rate low, it has it can't be your top. Like, you can be your yeah, top. Exactly. One. Like, you can objectively so... rate a drama. Listen, do I really think Cutie Pie is the greatest drama ever made? No, but is it the greatest in my heart? Yes. No. And this was just, Meet Yourself might not be the best, but it is the one that I just most consistently enjoyed. Like, I was mm-hmm. never bored. I was never mad at it. I was never like, ugh, why are we taking this weird turn? It just stayed the course. It, I mean, other than the very first episode where I was promised like good feels and people were dying and I was like this is not good feels but like after that everything was as advertised and it was just a delight so yeah I also recommend that if you're looking for just a nice easy watch Jesse. so for me currently my top one that I've watched from full is full time wife escapist. Cause it's Ooh. so good. We did a whole episode on it, so if you want to listen to our opinions on that, you should listen to that. It was a couple of weeks ago, I think, maybe. Yeah, I don't know time. Um, but it, time. it's just it's just fantastic. It's it's just it's just all around really good. It it makes you feel happy and warm, and then like you just kind of sigh a lot. Like, it's just nice. It's just a nice watch. Mm-hmm. Natalia? Natalia? Mine has not changed since I boldly made this statement in a previous episode, but Unlock My Boss, way better than you would think it is. It's very good. Perfect. And I really genuinely love that show and think mm-hmm. more people should watch it. I, I, have, I have randomly seen like folks that I really don't know, like just on social medias, they they watched it not knowing what they were getting into and they were mm-hmm. shocked that they enjoyed it so yeah. much. Because it looked, the, okay, the synopsis seems stupid. I'm going to give it this. And the poster makes it seem like it's this goofy comedy. None of those are true. Those are both false statements. I just, anyway, I just love it. And I think it's great. And I think more people should give it a chance. And it's on Viki and Netflix, so, so yep. there you they're, they're go. giving it. They're giving it to you. They're just they're telling you, watch unlock my boss. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> so yeah, this was our quarterly uh, check-in. Just you know, seeing the waters, how's, 
how are we all doing? I think uh, you listeners can figure out the answer to that question. <laughs> yes, no. uh, if you want to listen to more episodes of this podcast, if maybe you're new and just found us and we're like, wow, this energy <laughs> immaculate, need more of that. We have four years of episodes backlog that are all on wherever, mm -hmm. you know, basically wherever podcasts can be found. They're also all on our YouTube channel that you should go like and subscribe. Just search Certified Nunas. You'll find us. Uh, and of course, everything is on our website, certifiednunas.com with links and everything, you know, the time code, everything. We did, listen, serve it up to you every, yeah. every post. Um, if you want to support this podcast, because you're like, wow, this energy, immaculate, um, <laughs> you can go to patreon.com slash certified nudas to become a member of the certified found family. They're a family on the web, and we think they're fantastic, uh, and they get little little extra excerpts on the little extra mini private Patreon. I'm making this sound very salacious, but mm -hmm. it's just like... <laughs> We get special Patreon episodes every once in a while and extras and stuff. And they also get extra badges, special badges on our free to join Discord, which you should mm -hmm. also join because mm -hmm. Twitter is dying. Where else will you talk about K dramas and K pop and C dramas and Thai dramas? Well, we've got it set up for you to do Listen, it. It's all there. Just come on in. We're a very cool, welcoming place. Uh, we're not one. Of, we're not one of those sketchy discords. We're we're a cool discord. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening to us. Uh, we hope you have a fantastic week, and you know maybe take the time to count up how many dramas you've watched to see how your vibes are setting in. Yeah. Uh, and of course, as we always say, wear a mask, wash your hands, and keep enjoying Asian entertainment. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.